Hi, it's Waylon, and I'm going to explain the basics of an unsecured loan versus a secured loan. So let's look at a, a simple example. So that's, so that's me, and that's you. And one day, I, I'm a little short on money, and I asked you to borrow some money so I can have uh, some lunch. And you kindly agree to give me 20 bucks. So there's the 20 bucks there. Hand it over to me. And I, and I promise to pay you back the next week. So I take the money, get a nice salmon and asparagus lunch, and I eat the lunch, and it's all gone. And next week rolls around, and I say that, uh, sorry, I can't pay you back. So you're not too happy about that. Now, the, the only legal recourse you have is to, is to sue me. So I, so I say, you know, I'd go ahead. I don't care. The problem with, with suing me or, or anyone is that the, the litigation process uh, is, is not a fun process to go through. First of all, it, it is an uncertain process. You never, you never know what the outcome will be, no matter how strong you think your case is. The second thing is that it's a very lengthy process. It takes you know, quite a bit of time for a case to, to go through uh, the the all the different steps that that uh, that have to be done before something can make it to uh, trial, and the last uh, bad thing about litigation is that it's costly um, because it's lengthy. Uh, you might incur a bunch of legal costs, uh, and there are other various fees uh, involved in the litigation process. So, uh, with an unsecured loan, if the person doesn't pay. Um, you're you're just left left with the uh, the bad the bad alternative of of suing them. A better way of lending money, instead of with an unsecured loan, is with a secured loan. So a secured loan involves taking some sort of asset as collateral. The most basic form of security interest is called a pledge. So that's that's me again, and you and I asked to borrow some money. You give me the $20. So now, I not just promise to pay you back the following week, I also now I take the shoes off my feet and I hand them over to you. I give you my shoes as collateral for the loan. So you actually have possession of the shoes while I still owe you money. So the money is still spent on the lunch. And the following week, I say again that I can't pay you back. Now, you're still not happy, but at least now you have, you have my shoes. And you have the right to sell off my shoes on Craigslist or wherever else and to use that money to pay, to pay back the loan. So you're happy. But you know, there is something wrong with this transaction. There is a practical problem with this transaction. And that problem is that I have no shoes as long as the loan is outstanding. So I have no shoes to wear. So this type of security interest, a pledge, only works, practically speaking, if the debtor, the person borrowing the money, does not need the use or possession of the collateral during the loan. So if it's something that you don't need to have or to use during the loan, then then a pledge would work. So things like uh, you know stocks that you own, or 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 precious metals, or insurance policies, or jewelry that you don't, you know, precious jewelry that you don't wear, uh, all all that kind of stuff would be a, a good kind of collateral to be used as a pledge. And by the way, uh, a pledge is the type of security interest that is used by a pawn shop. When you borrow money, when you give something to a pawn shop, and they hold it as security for a, for a loan that you receive from the pawn shop. Another type of security interest that can be used is called a chattel mortgage. So this a chattel mortgage actually solves the practical problem that we saw with the with the pledge so if if we are using collateral that the the borrower needs to retain the possession or have the use of you know, such as such as the shoes then a chattel mortgage would work 
So we still start with uh, the borrower, that is me, and you're, you're the lender. I borrow money for lunch. You agree to give me the money. Now, I promise to pay back, pay you back the next week, but instead of handing over the shoes to you, I, I give you a security interest called a chattel mortgage over my shoes. So money is used for lunch, and uh, once again, I can't pay you back. Now, when I can't, can't pay you back, you have a right to take the shoes away from me, to, to repossess my shoes and to sell them uh, in order to use the money to, to pay off the loan. So you're happy. So the, the way this is set up with the chattel mark, I still get to wear my shoes while the loan is, loan is outstanding. And you, you still have a security interest over some collateral that you can, that you can take if I default on the loan.